Hello everybody. Today I'm going to talk about perseverance, which we all need loads of right now, but that perseverance produces gold. And I'm going to tell you what that means. So our reading is from James 1, just verse 2 to 4. Consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of many kinds, because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. Let perseverance finish its work so that you may be mature and complete, not lacking anything. Here ends the reading. So there are three precious things that you must know or hold on to in trials. The first thing you must know is that your faith will be tested. Faith is to trust or have confidence in God. It is a confidence grounded in reality, not in things that cannot hold us. The testing of this faith produces a character or, and an endurance in holding on to God. You see, perseverance is that steady persistence with our confidence in God, in spite of difficulties, obstacles, or discouragements. You know Job from the Old Testament in chapter 23. He said this, But God knows the way that I take. When he has tested me, I will come forth as gold. What, what does that mean? What type of gold is he referring to? As gold is purified in the fire, all the dross comes to the surface and is poured out. So too in our character. Our character that has confidence in God is the gold. The dross is the fear, the unbelief, the self-worship, and the wanting of my own way. All the other things we trust in that actually can't hold us. So that gold is a deep work of formation in our soul. We have to learn that our energy source is not hype or our own willpower, our performance, our looks, or the relationships we may have, but the energy source is the Spirit of God, and our holding onto Him makes us golden. The second thing we need to know is how to respond in trials. We respond in joy, not happiness. That is why James can say, consider it pure joy whenever you face trials of many kinds. Dallas Willard, a Christian philosopher who is a brilliant author and thinker, wrote this. Joy is not about pleasure, a mere sensation but a pervasive and constant sense of well-being. Hope in the goodness of God is joy's indispensable support. That means we can experience the joy of being in God's kingdom, of being safe with him and resting in his goodness in spite of any suffering or loss around us. The third thing we need to know is that the person you are becoming is of utmost concern to God. That's why James says, let perseverance finish its work so that you may be mature and complete. That letting is allowing perseverance to finish its work. The work is making us into gold. So we need to stop squirming and trying to get out of uncomfortable situations quickly and we also need to stop looking for instant satisfaction, pleasures, escapism, fantasy, addictions, to fill this void within. It must be filled with God. Now, C.S. Lewis was an avid writer around the time of the Second World War and afterwards, and he wrote this, God cannot give us a happiness and peace apart from himself, because it is not there. There is no such thing. 
He also wrote that God shouts in our pains. It is his megaphone to rouse a deaf world. So what could God be shouting about to you? Could he be saying, do not fear, I'm right here? Could he be saying, turn from your own way now and live in my kingdom? Could he be shouting, child, learn from me how to live your life, your whole life, your relationships, how you speak and conduct yourself, and it will go well with you. Could he be saying, I want you to come forth as gold. Let perseverance finish its work in you. So to summarize those three, three things we need to know about trials. Firstly, your faith must be tested and it must endure in confidence in God, whatever the circumstances. Secondly, choose joy that comes from resting in God's goodness. And thirdly, let perseverance build up and deepen your character. So I want to close with a prayer exercise. Can you just take a deep breath as you process that information and just let your mind meditate or mutter over to yourself that sentence. Let perseverance finish its work in you so that you may be mature and complete. Its work is on your faith, what you trust in daily. So firstly, can you allow perseverance to finish its work in you? Can you just rest in God's goodness and stop squirming and fighting? And what stops you letting it? Is it fear or unbelief or self-worship or an addiction or wanting your own way? And then invite God's spirit to lift those burdens off you because they actually are burdens. And instead, can you receive a strengthening of your spirit from him? Just sense him breathing in that peace and joy. Long suffering is also a fruit of his spirit. So ask him to water the seeds of that in your life so that they will grow and bear fruit. And may God's peace be with you as you journey with him. May that peace protect your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus.